Please, thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Sindhil Kumar. Next, the last speaker, Sri Adir Ranjan Chaudhary ji. One more speaker. Sir, sir, I arise to dwell on the supplementary demands for a grant 2022-23. The first batch of supplementary demands for grants for the 22-23 includes 75 grants and six appropriations. Approvals of the Parliament is short to authorize gross additional expenditure of 4,35,938.87 crores. Sir, net cash outgo, which is estimated 3,25,756.69 crore, additional expenditure matched by savings and hands receipts recoveries, rupees 1.1018.59 crore, token provision for reappropriation of savings, rupees 1.159 lakh. Original budget 22-23 expenditure allocation was 39,449,09 crore. Additional net expenditure allocation 325,756.69 crore. Total revised budget expenditure allocation now 42,70,665.69 crore. In so far as Chemical and fertilizer is concerned. Original grant in budget 22 23 was 109,242.23 crore. Now, original plus supplementary comes to 218,531.18 crore. Revised estimates in budget 21 22 was 141,735 crore. Despite announcing an additional subsidy of rupees 14,775 in May 21 and rupees 6,553 crore in October 2021 for non-urea fertilizers, experts predicted a shortfall of 30,000 crore with urea shortage being the most predominant. Sir, the fact is that we are focusing only on urea and DAP. But other fertilizers also should be given due priority because uh, experts always opine that a balanced application of fertilizer will yield more crop. So I would request the ministry to ponder over this issue also. The rise of fertilizer prices will certainly increase the input costs affecting the income of farmers, which has been declining under this government as per the NSO SAA survey 2021, real income from cultivation increased by 8.9% between 2012-2013 and 2018-2019. Sir, again, in so far as food and public distribution is concerned, original grant in budget 22-23 was 225,959.58 crores. Now supplementary DFG rupees 83.31 crore, now total original plus supplementary, including rupees 306, 307.89 crore. Revised estimates in budget 2021-22 was 302.000 crore. In this regard, I would like to uh, know from the Honorable Minister whether the Pradhan Mantri Garib Kollan Jojana will be extended beyond December because you are well aware that the purchasing power of the common people has not been improved in spite of all the measures being taken by this government. So in view of this declining purchasing power of the poor people across the country, this program could be extended. I do not know what is the plan of this government, but I must propose the extension of this program beyond December. Second, National Food Security Act 2013, I mean 2013, required that the subsidy cover 75% of the rural population and 50% of the urban population. At present, 81 crore persons are covered under the Act. So, in so far as 
rural development aspect is concerned, original grant in budget 22-23 was 135,944.29 crore. Supplementary DFG rupees 4517.47 crore. Now total original plus supplementary rupees 181, 118.76 crore. So I do not want to harp on the issues being raised by my uh, esteemed predecessors, but in this regard, I, will like, I would like to simply draw the attention of the minister that the allocation for this scheme, Manrega, is 73,000 crore, 35 percent lower than last year's revised estimates, which includes the 40,000 crore allocation of the PM Cares Fund. Madam, Southern Kandar Sattapak Se Numayinde Kahite Hai Ki Manrega Band Karna Chahiye, Kabhi Hamare Pradhan Mantri Bhi Kahite Hai Ki Ye Dharwar Hai Congress Aur UPA Jawane Ki Jho Nakami Ka Ye Dharwar Ko Bachaye Rakhna Chahiye. Phir Jab Covid Aate Hai, Tab Bade Jor Soriye Kahe Jata Hai Covid Ke Samay, Oh Buri Halat Se Bachane Ke Liye Aam Logo Ko Maine Manrega Me Bohu Sare Paisa Dhe. Toh Sarkar Ki Ek Ek Rook Ek Ek Rabaiya Aisa Kiyo Hote Hai? क्यों सरकार की तरफ से मंत्री हो या नुमाइंदे हो क्यों ना एक स्तर में मंडरगा की जो लाभ होते हैं ये मंडरगा की लाभ के बारे में क्यों नहीं स्पष्टीकरण किए जाते हैं वो बिना किसी रोक टोक के ये मेरा जरूर एक सवाल है इन सोफार एज रेवेन्यू इज कंसर्न ओरिजिनल ग्रांट इन बजट 22 23 रुपीस 227552.52 Supplementary rupees 19,728.49 crores. Total, I mean original plus supplementary, 247,281.01 crore. In June 2020, reports indicated that the central government informed the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Finance that it did not have the funds required to honor its statutory commitment to state to provide them GST compensation. Even Attorney General K.K. Benugopal reportedly opined that the central government was not obligated to pay the GST compensation shortfall and that states should borrow from the market against future compensation received. During the 47th GST Council meet held on June 29, 2022, the government decided to hike GST rates for essential items effective from July 18, 2022. This move has been met with much Contention owing to already increasing prices of essential items and uncontrollable inflation. Union Finance Minister Mr. Mrs. Sitaraman insisted that this GST hike was decided upon only after approval from all state. That claim has been denied by Finance Minister of respective state. You are on your own way imposing sales and surcharges. And on the other hand, you are not meeting the promises that you have been given on the floor of the house to those individual states. So certainly sometime it is appearing that you are breaching your uh, commitment that was given by, I mean, legal mechanism to the uh, state government across the country. Madam, I would like to flag this attention that fiscal deficit, so far as fiscal deficit is concerned, India's tax revenue collection are likely to be higher than budget estimate by rupees 2 or 2.5 lakh crore. In spite of that, the fiscal deficit is likely to be to overshoot the government's target of 6.4 percent of GDP by rupees 0.8 to 1 lakh crore. You are in a position to elucidate on this aspect. But what is observing by us that you are yourself having in a uh, triple whammy. On the one hand, current account deficit. On the other hand, fiscal deficit. And third, trade deficit. I don't know how you will be reconciling the fiscal deficit with the growth of the economy, as has been, as has been committed by this government. Second thing, supplementary demand for grants of this scale indicate a gross miscalculation on the part of the government on expected expenditure. It also undermines parliamentary control by going above and beyond what had initially been a sanction. In so far as fertilizer is concerned, I have already, I have already indicated 
that the NPK ratio refers to the proportion of volume of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium in fertilizer. The ideal average NPK ratio is 4 is to 2 is to 1, but the ratio increased to 7.7 7 is to 3.1 is to 1 in 2021 22. The ratio was 6.8 is to 2.7 is to 1 during Kharif 21, which got further distorted to 12.8 is to 5.1 is to 1 during Kharif 2020. While farmers tend to use fertilizer in a balanced ratio, changes in prices due to policy changes end up upsetting the balance. So there may be the distortion of the balance that I have flagged your attention. Again, fertilizer shortages is concerned. Indian government issues that there is no fertilizer shortage in the country, but there is a sufficient and there is a sufficient stock to fulfill existing demand. Yet farmers across the country have been facing shortages of fertilizer for both Robi and Karib sowing seasons, including Rajasthan, Arjun Meghawaljiki's state high, Himachal Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Haryana, Odisha, Tamil Nadu. The increase in fertilizer prices was partly responsible for 27% drop in paddy sowing during Karib this year. The government is meanwhile on the path of disinvesting or shutting down early PSUs in fertilizer sector. On the other hand, the import of DAP and NPNPK complex fertilizer increased year on year by 45.2% and 76.1% respectively in April, October 2022. There is a slogan being uh, propagated that one nation, one fertilizer which was launched in September 2022. But that goes against that standing committee recommendation. The committee remarked that the farmer should have the choice to buy fertilizer from different brands. The only way to ensure different efficient use of subsidy is by directing it to the farmer's account. However, under the One Nation One Fertilizer Scheme, all fertilizers are supposed to be sold under the Bharat brand name. This will lead to power margins for manufacturers and leave them with no incentive to increase production of quality fertilizers. In order to increase their brand loyalty, the manufacturers will now need to focus on marketing processes instead of focusing attention on upgrading system. Now, another issue. No update to the list of beneficiaries under NFSA, National Food Security Act. Section 9 of the Central Food Security Act 2013 requires that the list of beneficiaries be updated on the basis of the latest census data. With the delay in the 2021 census, the list of beneficiaries under the scheme is outdated by 11 years if the list of beneficiaries were to be adjusted as per the directive of the Supreme Court, there would be an increase of 10 crore more beneficiaries under the scheme. So I think the government should take into account the concern of the people and also the observation made by the Supreme Court. But um, what is very, I mean, intriguing to me that what is concerning to all sections of our population is that the Reserve Bank of India increased the repo rate for the fifth time in financial year 23 in an attempt to tackle inflation. Always to tackle inflation, you are resorting, you are resorting to increasing the repo rate. Why? Why this kind of mechanism being adopted by you? On December 17th, 7th, 2022, the RBI increases monetary repo rate to 6.2%, a 35 basis point high from 5.9%. The repo or policy rate is at its highest level since August 2018. The six-member Monetary Policy Committee arrived at this conclusion after an assessment of the evolving macroeconomic situation unfolding in the country. In September 2020, the central bank had increased the repo rate by 50 basis points to 5.9 percent. My up southern ke jo satta pas ke MPs hai, my unko puchna chahte hain ki repo rate badhane ki chalte ke aam logo ko parishaniya badhte hain ya kamte hain. Aap khud batao. My batana chahte hain my. विश्वास नहीं जाना चाहते मैं सिर्फ मोटे मोटे मुद्दे चार पांच मुद्दे रखना चाहते हैं कि इट इज इंपैक्टेड वेयर दिस काइंड ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग रेपो रेट विल हैव इंपैक्टेड फर्स्ट इंपैक्ट इंपैक्ट ऑन बोरोवर्स सेकंड इंपैक्ट इंपैक्ट ऑन ईएमआई इंपैक्ट ऑन एग्जिस्टिंग ईएमआई इंपैक्ट ऑन हाउसिंग मार्केट्स इंपैक्ट ऑफ रेट हाइक ऑन इक्विटी इन्वेस्टर्स इंपैक्ट ऑन म्यूचुअल फंड इतने सारे इंपैक्ट होने की बात आपको क्या ये नहीं लगता कि हमारे ये जो रिपोर्ट इस तरीके से धरल से वृद्धि किया जा रहे हैं 
इसका बुरी असर हमारे इकोनॉमी इकोनॉमी में होगी हम लोग यहां परेशानी को झेलना पड़ेगा तो हमारे अर्थनीति का क्या मूल्य रखे आप जाओ मिडिल क्लास लोअर मिडिल क्लास जिसके पास जाओ छोटे मध्यम लघु लघु उद्यमी जिसके पास जाओ ये रेपो रेट के चलते इनकी आर्थिक तंगी बढ़ रहे हैं मैं आप सर्वे करके देखो मेरे बात पे भरोसा ना करके आप सर्वे करके देखो सर प्राइस ऑफ एसेंशियल कॉमोडिटीज हैव बीन कॉन्स्टेंटली राइजिंग एसेंशियल फूड आइटम्स हैव बीन गेटिंग मोर एक्सपेंसिव फॉर ए लॉन्ग टाइम अंडर दिस गवर्नमेंट द मेन ड्राइवर्स ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन हैव बीन प्राइसेस ऑफ फूड फ्यूल क्लॉथिंग एंड एडुकेशन आई थिंक इन अर्लियर ऑकेशन ऑल्सो we have pointed out whether our economy has been undergoing stagflation i think our economy is on the cusp of a stagflation economy is stagnant inflation has been growing unemployment is not visible so certainly we are witnessing the morass of financial of plight of the entire country annual rate of wholesale inflation was at 12.41% in August 2022 and 10.7% in September 2022, compared to a 30-year high of 15.08% in April 2022. While this is maybe a relief to many, but states like Kerala are still reeling from the effects of price hike. Retail inflation in India September 2022 hit a five-month high at 7.41%. The figure crossed the Reserve Bank of India's upper limit of 6% for the ninth month. Inflation in October 2020 still above RBI's limit of 6.77%. Headline inflation is forecasted to be 6.4% in 2022-23, while the inflation rate has peaked. The Indian economy is expected to take two to three years to return to an inflation rate of 4%. This implies that the RBI will continue to maintain higher interest rates over the next five years. Which are critical in kick-starting economic growth required to move away from the pandemic slump. Madam, already, already, I mean, uh, media people have been highlighting that industrial output has measured by the index of industrial production slump to a 26-month low of minus 4 percent in October on the back of a contraction in manufacturing and consumer goods. NSO data, according to NSO data. it indicating weak exports and sluggish consumption demand alongside the continuing weakness of small and medium enterprises we are eager to know as to why the central bank could not keep inflation within the targeted 6% upper limit for the three consecutive quarter madam aaj bhi hum ye sunne ko mila hai ki hamare chin ke sath takra ho raha hai main us bishay pe jana nahi chahta sensitive mudda nahi jana chahta main nahi jana main sirf bhaiya kehna chahte hain hindustan mein 3560 ऐसा कंपनी है जहाँ का डायरेक्टर चीनी कैसे हो सकता है अधिरंजन जी नहीं चेयर को एड्रेस करो हा? आप चेयर को एड्रेस नहीं नहीं चेयर को एड्रेस करो सर मैं ये मैं ये इस मुद्दे के अंदर नहीं जाना चाहते मैं ये कहना चाहते कि 3560 हिंदुस्तान की कंपनियों ने जहाँ चीनी डायरेक्टर कैसे बन गया चीन का साथ हमारा ट्रेड किस किस तरह है हमारा एक्सपोर्ट इम्पोर्ट ट्रेड बैलेंस चीन के साथ किस स्तर पे है मैडम थोड़ा सदन को जानकारी दिया करो मैं और भी एक बात करना कि इत्तेफाक से इस साल इस साल नोटबंदी की छठी साल हो रहे हैं नोटबंदी की छठी साल ये डिमोनिटेशन कहूं यह डिमोनाइजेशन इकोनॉमी कहूं यह मुझे सोचना पड़ेगा डिमोनाइजेशन और डिमोनिटाइजेशन क्या है ये 2016 में 8 नवंबर एट 8 पी एम ए ऑर्गेनाइज लूट ऑफ दिस कंट्री टू प्ले Cash in circulation at that time was cash in circulation at that time was 7.6 lakh crore. Now it has been increased to 30.88 lakh crore. That means 72% hike. Why that? It was committed at that time that we are moving towards digital economy. Black money will be wiped out. Terrorists will be finished. and fake currency will have been done away with my sing sim, my single query to you whether the objectives of demonetization have been achieved or not because as per your rbi report it is palpably clear that not a single objective as was enunciated during the demonetization 
has not been achieved so far. See, Swiss bank, Swiss bank in its report stated that in the last 14 years, Hindustan mein sabse jada Swiss bank mein Hindustani ke logo ko paisa jama kiya. Iska kitna, kitna rasi? 3,500 crore. Aap kaita hai ki bhrashtachar ko duri karan karne ke liye demonization ki jorurat thi. Dekh hai. Ye corruption index kya hai Hindustan ki? 79 thai, abhi 85 chale gai. Ye humare nahi. Transparency International ki report hai. Fake currency aur sun li hai. Fake currency 500 denomination ki jo break currency 102 percent two one six yes please wait two one six kata hai that the debate on the supplementary grants shall be confined to the items constituting the same and no discussion may be raised on the original grants nor policy underlying them safe in so far as it may be necessary to explain or illustrate the particular items under discussion. What do you have done? Yeh demonetization jo hai, yeh supplementary demands of grants mein kaha hai sir? Koon sa item jo hai demonetization ka hai? RBI policy ka koon sa hai sir? Aur dousra unhone unparliamentary word jo use kiya, demonetization. Rakshasi karan yadhi hindi mein kaha hai, rakshas kaha se parliamentary sabd ho gaya sir? Yes, sweet. Tisi liye inko rokiya sir. Please continue, there is nothing and parliamentary, you, I think, wait, 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 uh, no, no, that, that I will examine, that, that word I will examine, that word I will examine as far as rule 216 is concerned, supplementary demands in respect of almost all the demands, all are either in one way or other way it is connected with these demands, so the, uh, that, that we will examine, that we will examine, demonetization is also affecting the economy, the state of Aware of our economy, definitely this is a matter of this is nothing out of the purview of the supplementary demands for grants. Yeah. But as far as the other word, we will examine and. It is under subjudice also. No, no, no. no, no. Yes, let us say. Yes, almost all, almost all the issues which we are discussing, almost all the issues which. Sir, they think that demonetization was demonization. No, 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 no please. <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah, yes, I have said. No, no, please. I, I am not dithering for me. I, I am not escaping from my word. Yes, no, no, I please, said. please. That we will examine. This is my observation. See, Sarbo Gyani Nishikan Dubey Ji, aapki jo bakta po diye the, usme dekhiye, aap isme ye supplementary demands me aap thi, isse bahar gayi thi. Aap khud dekhiye. Yes, yes. Aap khud dekhiye. Adhiranjan Ji, please. Now can you? Sir, 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 please. Your time. Sir, sir, I sir, I am thankful to, grateful to you, sir. I shall be indebted to you, sir. Sir, fake currency, so far as fake currency is concerned, 500 denomination has been raised 102% high. In so far as 2000 denomination, it has been raised by 57%. It has been raised now, by, it has been high 57%. Sir, I have given you a Supreme Court. 2000 denomination note, which is 214 crore notes. Hai. आप ये बंद करते जा रहे हैं आप आपकी सरकार लेकिन ये जो 214 क्रोन नोट थे उनका जो मूल्य था वो किसके पास आए वो कहां गया उसका भी ब्यौरा हमें देना चाहिए व्हेन डिमोनेटाइजेशन वर डन 2016 17 ग्रोथ सर ये समझाने के लिए मुझे बात आएगी यस दैट इज दैट इज कॉमन यस सो मेनी यस निशिकांत दुबे जी एवरीबॉडी नोस दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द इश्यूज व्हिच वी most of the issues which we are discussing in the house, it, yes, so many issues which, which we, are, we are not going to the merits of the case. Kindly, please, Adhirajan ji, please conclude. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, sir, I am at, sir, because of demonetization, demonetization, our Hindustan ki aarthik halat sabse kharap ho chuke, dhast ho gaye. Hindustan ki aarthik halat dhast ho chuke hai, sir. Yes. Our demographic dividend or demographic disaster mein बदल गए सर छोटो सर एमएसएमई से लेके हर जगह पे इसका पूरी असर हमें झेलना पड़ा आज भी झेलना पड़ रहे हैं इसीलिए ना मैं ये मुद्दा उठा रहे हैं क्योंकि हमारे इकोनॉमी के लिए सबसे बड़ा अभिशाप ये डिमोनेटाइजेशन आप इसको गलती शिकार करो टू आर इज ह्यूमन टू फॉरगिव इज डिवाइन थैंक यू पीपल आर रिगार्डेड एज गॉड दे मे फॉरगिव यू बट यू शुड एक्नॉलेज योर 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 फॉल्स स्टेप योर योर 
your your error your your error your wrong step thank you, you should thank acknowledge you. the Sri fact sudeep bandobadhyay ji please sir please sir in three more ho gaya adir da three more speakers are there three three items i will write please i just two to three minutes sir. two to three minutes bullet points bullet sir, points two, uh, bullet points madam bullet points madam for your <laughs> madam madam i yes. do not indulge in any kind of sarcasm because i respect you and second thing i always feel that you are striving hard to chenden our economy but sometimes the supercilious comments made by you is not expected from you like like dollar versus rupee you compared you compared that dollar has been strengthened but that does not mean that the value of rupee has been declining aap to football khela ho rahe hain har roz dekhte hain brazil croatia ke samne haar chuka hai to main abhi ye kahun ki brazil hara nahi balki croatia jeeti hai maine kaha ye kahun ki portugal hare nahi lekin morocco jeet gaye ye to nahi keh sakte wo ye jo sach hai us sach ko sach bolna chahiye kyunki hamara reserve currency dollar hai एक संजय डॉलर से गिना जाता है अचानक इसका दाम में कोई फर्क पड़े तो इसको स्वीकार करना चाहिए yes. हमें मजबूती करके मजबूती हमारे हिंदुस्तान की इकोनॉमी को और मजबूत बनाते हुए इसको मुकाबला करना हो गया बुलेट पॉइंट डेस्पाइट ये बुलेट पॉइंट डेस्पाइट बिकमिंग मैडम बुलेट पॉइंट मैडम डेस्पाइट मैडम बुलेट पॉइंट डेस्पाइट बिकमिंग द फिफ्थ लार्जेस्ट इकोनॉमी इन द वर्ल्ड बुलेट पॉइंट बुलेट पॉइंट bullet point on issues no 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 please see, please see bullet point point bullet not original bullet so what is the issue despite becoming the fifth largest economy in the world india continues to have the largest concentration of the world's poor estimated at 192.8 million people in 2020 using the international poverty line of purchasing power parity dollar 2.5 as per a recent world bank report now in the year 2022 ये आपको मदद करेगा सेकंड सेकंड ए यूएनडीपी रिपोर्ट ए यूएनडीपी रिपोर्ट मैडम ऑन मल्टी डायमेंशनल पॉवर्टी सजेस्ट दैट फोर वन फाइव मिलियन पीपल एग्जिटेड पॉवर्टी इन इंडिया ओवर द पीरियड टू थाउजेंड फाइव टू थाउजेंड सिक्स टू टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी विद द इंसिडेंस ऑफ पॉवर्टी डिक्लाइनिंग स्टीपली फ्रॉम फिफ्टी फाइव पॉइंट वन परसेंट टू सिक्सटीन पॉइंट फोर परसेंट ऑफ दिस टू थर्ड एग्जिटेड ड्यूरिंग दी फर्स्ट टेन ईयर्स एंड one third in the next five years but india continues to have the highest number of poor people in the world yes. at 228.9 million Lost. in 2022 the report causes that the levels of undernutrition in india are still high based on national family health survey point. data no. sir last 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 but no. last. sir last bullet point sir 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 credit suisse which compiles global wealth statistics in its 20 2022 report notes that wealth inequalities in india are rising rapidly with the top 1% of the population accounting for 41% of the national wealth the bottom 50% of the population own a mere 2.8% of the national wealth the world economic forum inclusive development index report for 2018 notes yes. that 6 out of 10 indians 6 out of 10 indians live on less than 3.2 धन्यवाद श्री सुदीप बंदोपाध्याय जी